well hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going through the first topic in the cape caribbean studies syllabus and that's location and definition of the caribbean region and its diaspora okay so taken straight from the syllabus the objectives take a look take a look you're required to know the names of the territories and where they're situated on the caribbean map you're also required to know subregions such as the greater antilles lesser antilles different archipelagos like the bahamas and turks and caicos islands right there you're also required to know the position of these territories in relation to the Caribbean Sea. Furthermore, we're going to go through the definitions of the Caribbean region and you'll later know why or learn why you can't use just one definition to define the Caribbean region as it's an abstract concept. Now, firstly, when looking at the map, just you need to know the names of the territories. Now, you have the Caribbean Sea situated right in the center. If you just look, you'll see it right here. It's the Caribbean Sea. Supposed to see the, Me the Gulf of Mexico in the top left corner of the map on the screen. And in the bottom left, you'll see the Pacific Ocean and uh, situated east, you'll see the Atlantic Ocean. Now, the different subregions, you have the Greater Antilles, which consists of the larger set of um, islands or set of islands in the Caribbean. So those are like Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. Hispaniola is an island with two countries, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Haiti is French, the Dom Rep or the Dom Republic, Dominican Republic, sorry, is Spanish. Cuba is the largest city by size and population in the Greater Antilles and I'm um, yes, yes, in the Caribbean region. Haiti is the first black republic in the Western Hemisphere, got their independence in 1804. Um, Puerto Rico is an associated state or freely associated state of the United States of America. And you'll learn that when we're going through the political, political definition of the Caribbean region. The Cayman Islands is a British overseas territory, meaning still a dependency, still depends on um, Britain. You'll learn other countries that are still dependent on Britain, like Montserrat. As well, the Lesser Antilles are the smaller groups of islands located east of the Caribbean Sea. Okay, they are divided into the Leeward Islands and the Windward Islands. The Leeward Islands are further north of the on the map and they are usually or they are the smaller set of islands and the windward islands are the larger um, sets of the lesser antilles you also have the different mainland territories like those of the south american continent and the on the ones that will be studying here or just looking at taking a look at our colombia venezuela guyana suriname and uh, sometimes french guyana and the central american con um countries like mexico belize honduras nicaragua costa rica and panama now if you look at panama it's an isthmus right it separates it's a narrow strip of land separating two water bodies and those water bodies being the caribbean sea and the pacific ocean and lastly for now when talking about the map here we'll look at the top where you see the bahamas and turks and caicos islands that archipelago is called the lucayan archipelago and that's basically it for naming the territories, the subregions, etc. 
now looking at the geographical definition of the caribbean defined geographically the caribbean is the area or region who is um washed by the caribbean sea so the countries whose coastlines are washed by the caribbean sea or whose coastline touches the caribbean sea um are most often described as the carib countries of the caribbean or the caribbean territories and this is described as the caribbean basin this definition however poses a challenge when you think about countries that are widely considered caribbean territories but they aren't washed by the caribbean sea so does that make them not caribbean right so countries like barbados that's further east barbados lies in the atlantic ocean the bahamas guyana turks and caicos islands and even bermuda they're excluded when sticking to this caribbean basin or strictly considering just the caribbean basin definition furthermore countries or territories the geographic definition also names the territories the west indies and the mainland territories which surround it this now was on a misconception on the path of the italian explorer christopher columbus when he arrived in the region in about 1492 in he was in search of asia or most more specifically the islands east of india which are now present day indonesia he realizes that he's in fact not in asia however he names these islands the west indies all right where he was looking for or the islands he was searching for were called or he would call the east indies however that name didn't stick it became obsolete however the term west indies stick stuck or sticks stuck stuck right no, there is a lot of room for error as quite often the Caribbean region is referred to as the West Indies. However, according to the Britannica Encyclopedia and many other sources, the West Indies are a crescent-shaped group of islands. I don't have to go any further because what I want you to focus on is the part where it says the West Indies um, is a crescent-shaped group of islands no the the term west indies only refers to the islands so the mainland territories are not are not included so countries like guyana belize suriname by this definition they aren't caribbean see where i'm going no you can also use lines of latitude and longitude to define the caribbean geographically um, because by approximation, the Caribbean spans about 60 degrees west to 85 degrees west of longitude and sits about 5 degrees north to 25 degrees north of the equator. And most often, this will have to, this approximation will have to be extended to about 30 degrees north of the equator to accommodate a country like Bermuda because both historically and politically that country is Caribbean. Now let's talk a bit about the geological definition. The geological definition speaks of the countries belonging to the Caribbean region lying on the Caribbean plate seems practical right but countries such as cuba the bahamas turks and caicos islands and guyana they do not in fact they do not lie on the caribbean plate um and though this seems like a solid idea when trying to conceptualize what exactly the caribbean is when you stick strictly to the geological definition these countries that are widely considered caribbean are excluded the geological definition also considers countries and their geological features 
and structures such as mountains and volcanoes. Most Caribbean countries, if not all, have defining mountains because here, for example, we have Haiti, meaning land of mo high mountains or montanos. Even Montserrat, or yes, was formed as a result of seismic activity, which led to the formation of that volcanic island. The challenges presented, however, as I said, Cuba's um, countries such as Cuba, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, even Guyana, do not fall on the Caribbean plate. But many Central American territories do fall on the Caribbean plate. Like Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama and even Costa Rica. And they're not widely considered Caribbean. Now the historical definition of the Caribbean speaks about countries in the Caribbean region being linked by similarities in their historical experiences, with a major part being the fact that most of the countries in the region were colonized by European forces. The indigenous people were affected by colonization as powers such as Britain, Spain, Holland, now known as the Netherlands and France, settled and took control of these territories. The Caribbean also saw the involvement of Denmark, Sweden and Portugal, but not to an extent as great as the others. This led to the implement implementation sorry, of large-scale farming in the Caribbean as the indigenous people were enslaved and the plantations and plantation slavery was implemented after which indentureship was seen. So it's a whole lot of stuff to be honest. You'll see this in the when we go through the historical process. So even today, we can see where there's a high influence of the Europeans culture in these countries in the aspects of speech, religion, and even the food that we eat. Caribbean countries have even maintained a relationship with their metropoles, and those are the countries that once colonized them. And many of their processes or many of the processes used by the Europeans were to maintain and increase the wealth of their nations. With that said, even though Caribbean territories share similar historical experiences, they also have many differences. Um, in fact, there, there are occasions where these, some of these Caribbean countries were controlled by more than one forces at different times because we had the spanish in jamaica first around 1494 then later in 1655 you had the english coming to take over now the problem that the historical definition poses even though by by the historical definition a country like bermuda that's sitting in the atlantic is uh, um is considered caribbean the historical definition includes latin american countries which are not widely considered caribbean countries such as colombia and venezuela that were controlled by the spanish this definition is therefore too general generalized even though it is true I, ju I don't even know what happened there. Like, what happened? The word is generalized, right? Yes. Anyways, the political definition, because if you follow me, girl, Jojo, the political definition, guys. There are two ways to look at the political definition. Firstly, you can relate the Caribbean territories having a shared or similar having shared or similar political systems that being some being independent states that some we having associated states in the Caribbean as well as um, we have republics, we have constitutional monarchies. 
yes so i'm going to run into the second way just like this because they're kind of linked and tied in with each other now there are also um regional groups and organizations in which countries that are caribbean or caribbean countries are a part of one major one being caricom and i i think we all know about caricom like no of caricom but i don't think we know of caricom or know as much as we should or let me speak for myself i don't know as much as i should about caricom anyways um there are many groups and organizations right dedicated to um its caribbean members now the caribbean community that's caricom um is now chaired by Ra ralph gonzalves which is the pm of saint vincent and the grenadines i believe um they have what we call member states and associated member states there are 15 member states that being antigua and barbuda um saint lucia saint kitts and nevis saint vincent and the grenadines trinidad and tobago suriname belize dominica barbados the bahamas haiti jamaica I think I said all of them. I'm hoping I wasn't counting. I wasn't counting. Anyways, there are 15 of them, right? And there are five associated member states that being Anguilla, Bermuda, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cayman, the Cayman Islands, and BVI, that is the British Virgin Islands. Okay. Now, politically, once again, Bermuda is defined as caribbean politically because um bermuda is a part of a caribbean regional organization or at least considered a member okay so the, politically bermuda is a caribbean country no the problem posed with this is that not every country that is considered caribbean is a part of these organizations because Cuba is communist, so it wouldn't be a part of, or the people, or the people wouldn't be a part, or the country wouldn't be a part of CARICOM, you see? And we also have one, a major, major, major organization around the 1960s, 1967, I believe. I need to brush up on my history. The West Indies Associated States, and that was a major organization, right? which involved islands in the caribbean sea that were british colonies with which had a relationship with britain or the british but were recognized as free they were called statehoods right however the british did not control the country's domestic affairs however they served the purpose or served as a source of defense yes so they weren't they weren't independent or considered sovereign states this status of statehood only granted these countries with internal self-government and the islands attempted several types of federations and a ma major federation was the west indies federation that was established in 1958 it dissolved in 1962 however there's some real interesting stuff going on with that i won't go too deep into it because i don't think we need to know about it i'm not sure if we need to know about it honestly but in 1961 eric williams who was the premier of trinidad and tobago at the time made the famous quote one from ten leaves not which represented um jamaica's withdrawal from the west indies federation because in 1961 alexander bustamante announced that jamaica will no longer be a part of the west indies federation now the original members of the west indies associated states were those of the west indies federation excluding jamaica and trinidad and tobago 
Eventually, these states headed towards independence in the 1970s and early 1980s, and the West Indies Associated States was succeeded by the OECS, which is the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, which was established in 1981. By then, most of the territories were actually independent except for Montserrat, which remains even today a British dependency. So the independent So the independent um, um, states from that, they were no longer a part of the West Indies Associated States because they gained independence. Now, as per similar um, systems of government in the Caribbean, even though many Caribbean countries have the same or similar type of um, systems of government or types of governance, in the Caribbean, there are many other types of governments in the um, in the in other Caribbean countries, and not all Caribbean countries share the same type of governance. However, there are groups. You have the independent English Caribbean, known as the Anglophone Caribbean, which is known as the, also known as the Commonwealth. Um, you have the British dependencies, as I said, um, like the Cayman Islands and Montserrat. Yeah, you also have the Free Associated State of Puerto Rico, which is an associated state of the United States or also um, known as an overseas territory of the United States. Of the um, overseas territory of the United States, Puerto Rico is a whole new history story. So if you want to know more about that, you can go read it had to do with the Spanish-American War. Anyways, people of Puerto Rico are considered U.S. citizens. However, they're, they, don't, they don't have a vote in the Congress, so they, they aren't allowed to vote in the United States. However, they can travel freely between the island of Puerto Rico and the United States. Similarly with um, the French, French Caribbean now, um, politically, Countries like Martinique, Guadeloupe, and French Guiana are not um, Caribbean territories politically because they are overseas departments, or it's spelled like departments, but you know, it's French. It has like one, I know it's not English because it had a little, is it, is it still a, is it still an accent in French? I, I never did French, I did Spanish. See with me. So correct my french if i'm wrong but they're french departments and you can consider these french overseas territories as like parishes that are not connected to the mainland to the french mainland just as for puerto rico you can consider it a parish i wouldn't say a state because they, they, they aren't given the status as a state but if you want you can say consider it like a state that's not connected to the mainland however it's not a state they didn't name it a state don't don't say i told you it was a state it's not a state i am emphasizing this in case you know you, you zone out a bit I, I hope you're not zoning out though in case you zoned out a bit puerto rico not a state of the united states it's an overseas territory now for martinique guadeloupe french guiana as per usual yes they're overseas territories of france so politically they're not caribbean yeah we're recapping all of that anyways they also have french citizenship just as puerto ricans have u.s citizenship so um by the geo geographical definition and the geological definition Martinique Guadeloupe and the French Guiana lies not French Guiana Martinique, Martinique and Guadeloupe are Caribbean countries so pol but politically they aren't because of them being overseas territories of France you also 
so let's look at the final definition the diasporic definition this one's quite short quite simple a diaspora is a group of people who spread or leave from a country of origin to another to settle and the caribbean diaspora therefore refers to the people of the caribbean or people of caribbean origin that even though have moved away they still have a connection with their homeland whether that be emotionally culturally economically or just by family right these people despite living elsewhere still identify themselves as caribbean and this involves people who have migrated descendants of those who have migrated and those who identify um, themselves as caribbean simply because they practice the caribbean culture so that's it for this entire video so once again guys if you are oh i forgot to tell you that there is a quiz at the end of this powerpoint so you can like you can go to the end you know go down in the description i don't know what i'm saying you know go down to the description you can get the powerpoint with the questions there if you want and I guess that's it for the video so go follow me on instagram at underscore cam underscore eo cameo yes and uh, if you're hearing this that means you've made it to the end of the video once again congratulations like subscribe and uh, look out for the next video i'm feeling bougie anyways that's it for me i hope you enjoyed the video